With Domingo Herman going today, what are your expectations for him heading into his first start considering uh, what's really transpired over the last year? You know, went through a lot this spring as far as, uh, you know, addressing individuals and dressing the club on things that have gone on in the past. Um, you know, he's, he's obviously uh, performed really well in spring training and, and I feel like is, is in a really good spot uh, physically and, um, you know, excited for him to get back out on that mound. I know he's very excited about it. Aaron, what have you thought of your bullpen so far and the way they've pre performed considering the fact that you're without Britain, you're without Wilson, you were without Chapman? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, they've, they've been excellent here, you know, obviously it's only two games, but um, you know, for some of these guys to get off to the kind of starts they have gotten off to and to throw the ball the way they have, you know, especially some of our younger guys or, or a guy like Lucas Litley who hasn't pitched in the big leagues, who got his, his uh, debut yesterday and, and pitched well. So, um, you know, they've, they've pitched really well and, and been big for us here in these first couple of games. No Stanton. What went into that decision? Is he okay? Yeah. G's good. Um, you know, just wanting to get a, a lefty in there. What not going to, this is probably the best day to do that. Um, whereas, you know, I'm, I'm not going to play G probably five days in a row was kind of what I told him. So I just figured this was the best day to do that. Um, uh, yeah, nothing more than that. Come on. I'm just curious what kind of uh, crowd reaction, fan reaction you're expecting today. And if anybody, either you or somebody else on the coaching staff has talked to him about what to expect both here and whenever he pitches on the road. Um, no, we haven't had that conversation about crowd reaction with him. Um, we'll see, you know, um, I'm, you know, I'm sure along the way, um, you know, I mean, that's, that's part of being a big leaguer is dealing with different reactions and, and different reactions to you. And obviously what he's been through, um, you know, there's, there's going to be probably some polarizing reactions at times and, and, you know, that's, you've got to deal with that and he will. Hey, Aaron, I don't exactly remember why, but at the end of 2019, you had Herman piggybacking a little bit, didn't you? Was that just an innings limit thing with him? Yeah, we were just kind of, um, you know, it, it was obviously a place he hadn't been to from an inning standpoint. Um, we we're getting ready for the postseason, obviously, and, and just wanting to get him potentially in a role that, you know, he, he potentially could have had in the postseason where um, certainly he could have started for us in the postseason that year, but also felt like he could have been a real uh, weapon for us out of the pen as well in, in a couple inning stints here and there. So it was something that late in the year we wanted to just explore a little bit and also just try and, you know, save some bullets there down the stretch and hopefully in, in, well, in the postseason. Yeah, he also, I think his 143 was his high for innings that like two uh -huh. years ago. Yep. When you, when you look at the fact that he didn't pitch last year, how, how hard is it going to be to figure out where he is, goes this year? Yeah. I mean, it, yeah, I mean, it, it's going to be challenging in, in some degree with all these guys for different reasons, right? Domingo is a different reason. He's, there's nothing health uh, there, but but the reality is he didn't log innings last year. So it's going to be something that every team has to deal with and how, how you monitor that, how you judge that um, and trying to, you know, keep these guys strong and healthy and in the best spots as the season unfolds. Um, you know, it's why with some of our guys were, you know, rolling them out a little more, you know, cautiously, um, you know, especially from some of the pitch counts just here early um, and, and Domingo for a, variety of circumstances is no different would piggyback be, be an option this year for managing their their innings all of them uh, or no you know at times I, that that may come up you know there yeah. i mean we can define piggybacking a lot of different ways you know i mean there's going to be games where uh you know especially here early as we build pitch counts up um you know you, where you know, you've got a low down there or a king down there that are built up as well that can really give you length uh, behind some of these guys. So <clears throat> not necessarily looking at it right now as saying, oh, I envision piggybacking going on a ton, but, you know, the, the year will kind of dictate some things to you and, and show you a little bit where to go or where you hey. need to go.